Today, we are going to be looking at some rad Kershaw knives. The design, the fit, the finish, everything is great. Yeah. <laughs> if I were to have any of these on the table, if you were to give me one right now, I'd take the Yeah. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Knife Banner, and today we are going to be looking at some rad Kershaw knives, and specifically what's on the table. The seven best Kershaw knives of all time. That's a bold statement. Now it's a big statement. Maybe we made a, a maybe too big of a statement. But at the end of the day, these are the Kershaw knives we hear you guys talking about the most, and these are the ones that you guys buy the most. So we figure, let's dive into them. Let's get a little deep dive and 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 see what. Uh, where's the magic? It's magic. And all these fun little Kershaws. Let's do it. And you know what the raddest thing is is nothing on this table is over hundred dollars. I do like that. Which is really rad. So, anyways, what's first on the table? First one up is the Kershaw Shuffle, or as we like to call it here, the Kershuffle. You got a GFN scale, you got a, a bottle opener, you got a pocket, or not a pocket clip, a lanyard hole slash screwdriver slash pry bar. Pocket pry bar, that's what you're it's going a for. Pocket, yeah, it's a, it's a PP. <laughs> Good old PP. And then you got your uh, two-way deep carry pocket clip. This thing's pretty sweet, and for 12 bucks. Yeah, 12 bucks, you get an 8CR blade on it, so it's like a real steel. Yeah. Um, if you have a big problem with inexpensive steels, you should check out the piece that we did on cheap steel specifically to see what our opinions are there. But uh, yeah, no, this is it's a great little knife. We love bucks. we love the Kershuffle, and for 12 bucks, yeah. shoot. Well, and it, it comes in a, a variety of cool, bright, fun colors, yeah. which I think is really cool. But it also comes in like black, right? Yeah. So it's like taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. You want to know what else I just realized? Hmm. It's a whole bunch of little K's on there for the texture. For I, Kershaw. I don't know why I've never noticed you that. You have handled like 10,000 of these things. I've never noticed that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there you go. That thing's a that thing's solid. Awesome. Good old Kershaw. All right, so next up on the table, guys, is the Skyline, the Kershaw Skyline. This is the XL version. It's the XL or the regular Skyline. Um, you guys buy a ton of these things. And you got a G10 handle. Um, this has got also an 8CR blade on it. And just kind of a, a great knife all the way around. Um, this is a Blade HQ exclusive. This one in particular is on sale. It's going for about 25 bucks. So Sweet. check the website for current pricing. Um, now, the knife community kind of has a love-hate relationship with the Skyline. Um, something that I've noticed. And for a $25 knife, I understand, right? Like, yeah, you get what you pay for with knives, yeah. you know? Um, but honestly, like, it's a great user. Like, I got a lot of buddies who this is, like, a main user for them hmm. for, like, opening boxes or, like, you know, just beating up, basically. Oh, yeah. Um, another kind of cool thing is that um, Flytanium Scales, the scale company Flytanium, they make a ton of custom scales for these things. So you can get... I've seen those. Yeah, you can get They're cool. carbon fiber, you can get brass, you can get copper. Like, there's a, there's a ton of rad ones. So check out the website, see what's currently available. But uh, yeah, Kershaw Skyline. That's kind of cool, because at a low price point, you can still customize it. Still customize it. The, the kind of the funny thing is, is like, some of those scales are like 30 bucks. Yeah. So like you buy the knife for you know twenty five <laughs> to thirty five, and then you get the scales for thirty. But it, it's it does it makes the knife yeah, really cool. cool. Yeah. All right. Next up we have the Kershaw Cryo, and check out the assist on this. Whoop. Okay. So we have now just entered the realm of Kershaw knives that honestly I'm just not a huge fan of, and actually any knives in general I'm not a huge fan of. I just don't like assisted. I don't like. It. Tell tell me in the comments why do you guys carry assisted knives? Because I'm a big one-handed guy, right? And so this is this is my thing. Let me steal this from you. This is my thing. Is so he opens opens awesome, right? Like Kershaw Speed Safe or assisted, you know, opens great. But then you go to close it and you get the resistance. Yeah. Right. And I'm always like, I'm gonna cut myself. Yeah. So and maybe just because I'm not used to it. But eh. so anyways, what, what what can you tell us about this awesome cryo? Well, the assisted blade that I just totally muffed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's got G10 scales and a four-way reversible deep carry pocket clip. Yep. And this is just, it's cool. Cool yeah. knife for pretty decent price. Yeah, and this this particular one is a D2. This is a Blade HQ exclusive. Um, and this is actually on sale on the website as well. Uh, cool. It's going for like right around 35 bucks or something like that. Gotcha. Um, now, you know, one thing with production knives, Kershaw is known for the assisted thing, right? So yeah. you got Ken Onion, um, who was one of the first ones to develop kind of that assisted technology. Right. I think the very first one, or the one at least it's attributed to, was an, uh, an older knife maker, his name was, uh, his nickname was Blackie Collins. So his nick he went by his nickname, his last name was Collins. So Blackie Collins. Gotcha. And um, he apparently designed the assisted technology based off of like the strut on his Ducati motorcycle. 
Really? And then a couple years later, Ken Onion's design, the speed safe design, he, he, he designed it off of a similar part on his Harley Davidson. Really? Which I didn't know until That's I was doing cool. some research about I Kershaw. Didn't know that. Which is kind of cool. So, so anyway, so yeah, G10, bla or G10 handle, D2 blade, 35 bucks, bladehq.com, check it out. It's an exclusive, you can only get this one here. And uh, as you guys know, me and Kurt, we love that, that D2 life. At least yeah. I love that D2 oh, life. Oh, I'm all about the D2 <laughs> life. All right, so uh, next up we have the Kershaw Dividend. Now this is kind of a newer entry um, to the yeah. Kershaw line, but super rad knife, again, four-way reversible pocket clip. This particular one has 420, uh, 420HC steel on the blade and then an aluminum handle. Now, as you guys probably know, the Dividend also comes, and the Link, both come in an M390 variant, and they're like, I mean, this thing goes for like 50 bucks, um, but the M390 variants, they go for like 70, 80 bucks. That's still not Very, bad. very affordable yeah. uh, for M390 blade. Um, and check the website, because they come and go uh, as Kershaw makes them, so it's always hard to tell. But the Dividend, super great knife. I like the slim profile on it, personally. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, and, and the thing that I like about the profile on this thing in comparison to like the leak, which we're gonna look at here in a second, is it's it's very slim, but it just seems a little more substantial. Yeah. Right? So like, if we compare the link, or the, the leak, um, it's just a little more, the divot is a little yep. more substantial, and uh, I feel less like I'm going to break the tip off of it. So, I don't know. Funny, funny that you said that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Perfect, well, what, what's next on the table? We, we got the leak. We the got the Kershaw leak. Leak here. This is a Ken Onion design, and the assisted that he uses is he has dubbed it Speed Safe. The Speed Safe Assist, yeah. Speed Safe Assist. And, I mean, just like we just talked about with the dividend, this is a really slim, sleek design. It's got a Warncliffe blade. Um, I love the smooth, these thin aluminum scales. They're really cool. And I actually have a leak yeah. that I owned before I started working here at Play HQ. That's what you had in your pocket at your interview, wasn't it? I Yep, yeah. it was in my pocket at my interview. I'm gonna hand you this one. And I am gonna show you my leak. <clears throat> now this thing has seen, seen some things. Yeah, let's, see this. let's see this thing. Yeah, you know, honestly though, it's in better condition than I expected, it's, knowing that it's your link. It's or, a, uh, leak. leak. I keep saying link. <laughs> leak. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually not bad, but I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I don't know if this helps put my finger here, but the tip. Compare these two tips. Here, let's see. It. Put yeah. my hand, put my. I'll put my hand behind it. Don't cut me. I'll cut you. Don't cut you. <laughs> right there. I've had to take it apart. I actually these marks right here. I used it to pound on something. <laughs> kind of like I did with- With your Kalashnikov. You with carried. my Kalashnikov, yeah. <laughs> and I actually had to take this scale off and pound it back flat because it was pinching the- it wouldn't let it work? Yeah, the assist was, <laughs> it was getting stuck, so. That's amazing. You know what? I love the leak and it's, it's not a bad entry knife. Uh, they come in a couple different flavors, a couple different blade variations from time to time. Um, they recently had, I'm pretty sure it was the leak. They recently had like a 24 karat gold version. I and almost, I almost bought it. I almost bought that one. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I was so stoked. They sold out really quick. You guys all bought, bought them all up. But uh, while well, I was sitting on the fence, but I almost bought that one. Yeah, just me too. I looked at it like four or five times. It's a twenty-four karat gold. It's a solid gold leak, right? You got it. You know what I mean? It's just so good. All right. So, do you want to do the next one? No, I don't. Okay, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna so, not even touch this. So you guys know, Kurt's not a big fan of small knives, and. Uh, I, I'm, I'm like good with whatever, right? Like I, as long as it's a good user, I don't care. So what we have on the table is a uh, Kershaw Launch 4 and Kurt fought to not have to talk about this I, one. I'm so happy right Here's now. the thing, you, but you don't hate the launch series. No. You love I, the launch series. I love the launch And even this one, you, you love the action. The just too small. action is spectacular. Yeah. The design, the fit, the finish, everything is great. Yeah. It's just too small. Yeah. yeah. But the other, the whole launch series, Yeah. Those are awesome and, and honest, automatic knives. And honestly, when we're talking about the best knives that Kershaw makes, or the best knives of all time, I guess, when we're talking about the best Kershaw knives of all time, really, if we just went on with what you guys bought, this would just be a lineup of 
of the autos. Yeah. This would just be, that's all it would be. Yeah. <laughs> it would be all the launches. Um, so anyway, so we, we brought the Launch 4 out because this is the one that you guys seem to like the most out of all the different launches. Um, super great little knife, you know, aluminum chassis. Uh, this has got a 154 CM blade. CM 154? CPM 154, there it is. CPM 154 blade. Um, nice, nice pocket clip and uh, honestly just great action. Like, and I'll yeah. say this every time, every day about these launches is the action on these things are sweet. They are snappy. And this little launch four goes for like 75 bucks, man. That's it's, not bad. It's a great knife. And so obviously this one's California legal, um, but it's also a great box cutter. Um, great for yeah. processing boxes and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys out there use it for that. Um, yeah, great knife all the way around. Well, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. Again, flavors, man. I'm, right. I'm all about that flavor life. Now, and we actually forgot to mention um, the Dividend, the Leak, and the, uh, launch, the launch 4. four. These are all made in the USA as well, right? which is rad. And all of the knives on the table have an incredible warranty from Kershaw. So they really back up their product, which is cool. Yeah, Especially when cool. you're buying, yeah, like I said, every single knife on this table is sub $100. Right. So it's nice to know you have a support with it. But yeah. Yeah, so uh, what is the last one <coughs> on the table? So next up on the table is another Ken Onion design. This one is the Blur. And this one has a S30V blade. And th we've talked about this before. I think this one was in the best first knives video. Yeah, the best first knives video we did. So you guys sh should check that out. We had a, a little bit more information about it there, but yeah. Yeah, so it had this stuff right here. You probably can't tell, but it is like rubbery grippy. Yeah. It's called track tech. Track tech, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's like a track in high school or I grew up in Vegas. It's like the playgrounds I played on in Vegas, like the shredded rubber tire. Right. Yeah. But it's super grippy. You still have that really slim design that Kershaw loves. Um, aluminum scales with that track tech in there. And this thing is perfect for my hand. The blur is, or honestly, it's a, it's a solid knife. And uh, we mentioned this in the first knives video that we did, but Steven, who was on and had a financial crisis and bought a very expensive knife, he said if he could only have one knife, like one budget knife, this would be the one. Yeah. So that's a big, big recommendation um, from a pretty, pretty dyed in the wool knife nut. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I were to have any of these on the table, if you were to give me one right now, I'd take the blur. Yeah. Yeah. It just fits my hand and what I would use it for the best. Yeah. The blur is really awesome. It's a good knife. Um, so now if I was to have any of the knives on the table, I wouldn't take any of them. I would take this one. <laughs> This is the uh, the Kershaw Atmos. Uh, it's got it's a Sinkovich design, 8CR blade. It's got a carbon fiber inlay, nice deep carry pocket clip, and uh, honestly, I just love this knife. It's, I like, it's a really solid design. I'm a fan of Sinkovich yeah. design. Sinkovich does a good job, and so this is a cool thing. And this is also something about Kershaw knives in general is um, they use a lot of designers, like right. cool, like awesome designers. So this is a Sinkovich. The um, the cryo is Hinder. And then obviously you've got some Ken Onion designs Ken on the onion. table as well. So, um, but but in all honesty, if I had to take any knife on the table, and I had to pick from the table, uh, I'd go Launch Four for sure. Um, I've been meaning to pick one of these things up. I'm just waiting for the right variant to come. So we do variants with these things all the time, and so that's what I would do. And then I would just cut stuff in front of Kurt all day with it. So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> uh, and that Atmos, guys, it goes for about thirty, like thirty-five bucks on the website, thirty-one dollars somewhere around there. So anyways, a uh, lot of great knives on the table. I know that you guys, I, I, probably every one of you watching this probably owns one of these knives. So let us know down in the comments which one of these ones you guys own, which one's your favorite. And uh, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next round. I spend more on my lunch every day than I do that knife. <laughs> that knife is $12. You need to say that. Fantastic $12 you need to say that out loud.